Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, and thank you for stopping by. All right, guys, what we're going to talk about tonight is going to put a smile on your face. I know it. Now, Ted Cruz is making another appearance on this channel as the stalwart defender of the Second Amendment, at least this week. He and he basically goes against some hecklers that were at a festival that he was at today. This is hot off the presses. He defends the Second Amendment rights. He addresses all the mass situations that we have in this country. He even directly confronts a protester that says violence doesn't solve violence. And I cannot wait to show you what he said because I've got clips we're about to play. Everything is linked in the description box below per usual, and I cannot wait to hear what you guys think. Now make sure right after this video debut, or, uh, wraps up, I'm going to be jumping over to Arms Directory. I'm going to stand there for about an hour. I'd love to see you guys over there. Make sure we're linked up, share some stuff, talk back and forth, and I'd love to follow up on this conversation. But with that said, let's dive into Ted Cruz and his second appearance of Gun Rights Advocate of the Week. Check this out. Ted Cruz denounces new gun restrictions as he argues with hecklers in Austin. First of all, you go into Austin. I mean, like, Austin's kind of the blue little area of Texas. Speaking at the Texas Tribune Festival, Cruz said armed security is a better way to keep schools safe. This came out, like I said, September 24th, four hours ago of the filming of this video. So the important thing here is some context. Ted Cruz put forward a bill that was all about school safety, school infrastructure, and supporting police around terrible instances if they occur. Chris Murphy, you know, Mr. Gun Control in the Senate, didn't even allow that bill out of the out of the debate, basically. He wouldn't even allow it to be have, uh, discussed. So Ted Cruz goes off. That's the first video we did with Ted Cruz this week. But now, he's dealing with some hecklers, and this is gold, all right? So U.S. Senator Ted Cruz vehemently defended Texas gun laws at the Texas Tribune Festival on Saturday, engaging in a spirited debate with audience members about semi-automatic rifles, mass situations, and school security. Okay, so knowing all of that setup, let's get the first clip. I cannot wait to hear what you guys think about this because he does a really good job and keeps his composure pretty solid. Check this out. When you think of gun control, there are lots of folks on the left that say, look, let's just get rid of all the guns. What that would mean is 500,000 to a million more people are victims of crime, are victims of rape, of murder, and assault. Okay. So the first thing he goes down is, okay, so you're talking about removing all of the defensive uses of firearms in this amazing nation. So he says that's what would be the consequence of that. So they're not thinking through the entire conversation. That's the first one. This second one is where we start to address a few more of the details, and then we get to his ripping answer on violence does not solve violence. I cannot wait to show you. And in these debates... Look, if we sit down reasonably and say, how can we stop crimes? You would rationally say, well, let's look at both the criminal uses of firearms, but also the defensive uses of firearms that stop. All right. So again, he's reiterating that whole point. He's trying to explain to people who are heckling him about gun control and AR-15s. And he's trying to say, you got to separate, separate out the criminals from the defensive uses. you got to separate the good from the bad and look at it for what the pro and the cons are. This is about the point when a woman yells out, violence doesn't solve violence. But this is a really good example. Watch the whole clip. It's linked in the description box below. It's about two minutes long of walking through debunking gun control arguments. Because this is what he's doing. And he's, he has a very debonair way of doing it. But here we go. Let's get it. I cannot wait to show you what he says here about violence. Arms that stop crimes. That violence is violence. That is oh, or, and it actually is the only thing that does. It, 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 if you look at violence doesn't solve violence. Look, that's actually why the left wants to abolish the police. And it's why you see murder rates skyrocketing. Uh, all right. All right. So he hit two things there. And this is incredibly important. He said the quiet part out loud that no one ever wants to seem to say. Violence doesn't solve violence. Um, no, actually, it's the only thing that does. That's why when someone is doing a criminal act, you bring police. If there is something that's threatening harm and danger and safety of others, you bring police who then bring a greater or equal force. This is pretty basic, basic understanding of pro and con, yin and yang situation. But then he goes down to a real world example. That's what he even said. That's why the left wants to get rid of policing. Because they believe violence doesn't solve violence. And Ted's like... Um, guys, the only way to stop violence is by ending it with violence, and that is a too true of a statement. Let me know what you guys think. Does Ted Cruz deserve Pro 2A Defender of the Week? And I will see you on the next episode. I'm Braden. See you later.